Hey guys, so in this video, we're gonna be upgrading our stock air filter to the TRD high flow air filter in our 2022 Toyota Tundra. Let's get into this. So hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So I picked up not only one, but two, since there's two air boxes, uh, TRD high flow air filters. I'll leave the link to these down in the description for you guys. Okay, so installing it is very, very simple. It's the same on both the driver's side and the passenger side, but you got one, two little locks right there. And then right here, there's kind of like a little slot where the top lid just kind of slides into. You can see it kind of pulls back. You can see that little notch right there. Take the old filter out. Here is the new filter, it has TRD down here. And here is the old filter. So you can see that the fins from this one are a bit uh, thinner, but there's definitely more of them. Whereas with the TRD air filter, your fins are separated a bit more. This is already pre-oiled a little bit from TRD or from Toyota. So definitely seeing these side by side, this one should allow for more airflow. And then installing is super simple. Thicker part up top, it'll rest on it nicely. This little guy right here, we wanna send back up into there. So that is kind of like the back lock of it and the box will set itself down, latch. So guys, that was a very simple install. So we're gonna go ahead and drive the truck and see how much throatier it sounds, see if we have any extra turbo whistle with it. But before we do that, here is the before sound of the truck, kind of idling, kind of in a parking lot, revs up a little bit, and some acceleration clips. All right, so this will be completely stock. I'm gonna turn the microphone around to face the engine so you guys can hear it the best. Little bit throaty, some turbo whistle you already are able to hear when the truck is stock. I'll do some light throttle, some heavy throttle, and then I'll floor it as well. throttle come to a stop put it in neutral forty five hundred RPM put it back in the drive Going with it to about 45.50, and then just more parking lot. So where it's at the low idle, um, you can kind of hear it the most, like that little bit of growl that I talk about. When you accelerate it a lot, though, you don't really hear that. miles an hour, a little bit of roll into the pedal, kind of hear the turbos a little bit going, spooling up and then releasing, so. So now, let's see how it is after. So spoiler alert, just getting to this same spot to do that same loop that I did in that before clip, significantly more turbo whistle. Not as much throatiness, but significantly more turbo whistle, and it may be butt dyno placebo, I don't know, but the throttle feels a little bit more responsive. It wasn't horrible in the first place, but it feels a little bit more responsive. All right, so coming out of the same parking lot, Yeah, you couldn't hear that blow off last time. Put the truck in neutral again. I 
I heard the turbos cool down that time, so a little bit of acceleration. Oh yeah. Just woke up a bit. Not a lot, but. Then just some parking lot driving. Turn in again, get on the straight. A little more than 60 that time. Roll into it again. A lot more turbo. Guys, more testing with this too with mpgs so hopefully we can see maybe some mpg increase i don't know i'll keep you guys in tune with that hopefully i can keep my foot out of the pedal the turbo whistle the turbo whistle is there i enjoy it i mean if you're gonna get rid of the v8 and put a twin turbo v6 into the truck anyways i kind of want to hear the turbos go i've driven diesel trucks in the past we've had them in our family I like hearing the turbo whistle in a truck. I, that's just what I like. So the fact that this has those turbos, and now these air filters have definitely seemed to wake up the sound of those turbos a little bit more. I thoroughly enjoy that. Not as throaty as I was hoping. I was really hoping to get a little bit more growl, a little bit more balls, a little bit more growl out of this truck, but really it just opened up the air for the turbos, which makes sense, it makes sense, but I was still hoping that there was just a little bit more grunt and growl uh, out of this motor from those filters, because like I said, it has that grunt and growl a little bit, but I just wanted it to waken it up just a little bit more, just to have that little bit more throaty of a sound. So guys, if you're new around here, definitely consider subscribing, returning subscribers as always. Appreciate your guys' support, and I will catch you in the next video. All right, see you later.